Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Lone Wolf 902. Today's video is going to be a review on Expedition Research Titanium Stove. So let's get it out of the bag and let's get it set up. All right, so let's go ahead and get it out of the case that it comes with, which is this nice Velcro bag. Pretty handy. Uh, so the stove consists of four pieces. First piece is this round tray. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. The other three pieces are identical pieces of stove body. Now this is all titanium and it goes together very simple. No tools, no hardware. It just clicks together, kind of like origami. So first off, assembling the stove, it has two tabs here along the side that correspond with two little slots that are cut in. We'll go ahead and snap these guys in like so, and then continue that to the other piece. And you get this triangle shape. From here, it's a, it's a little tricky. It, it's easiest to do on a flat surface like this. And then just simply slide in the two remaining tabs and you end up with a neat little triangle shape just like that. All right, so now that we've got the stove body constructed, uh, let's talk about a few specs. Now on amazon.ca, it's saying that with the center plate and just the stove, everything here is 90 grams of titanium. That doesn't count the bag, which is very lightweight. Uh, we're four inches tall, and they're saying five and a half inches wide. And it's it's a really, really nice kit. It works really well. It, it flat packs. I really do enjoy it. So the way I got it set up right now, and remember I said we're going to come back to this. We'll leave that out just for a second. The way we got it set up right now is you can actually use it as a twig stove. And that's why this is all blued, because it's been under a lot of heat because I've actually used twigs in here as a twig stove. So I'll grab my kettle here, and if I place my kettle on top, it fits very nicely. And I also have my 750 mil titanium pot that also fits on there very nicely. So that'll give you a little bit of a comparison. Fits on there, nice standard 750 mil titanium pot. Um, so this works really great for twigs. With the pot, you can actually fit the twigs in the triangle sections. And with the kettle, what I do is I just pick it up, throw some sticks in there, put it back down, and you're cooking. Works really, really good. So that's one fuel source. The second fuel source, we got this pan here. It has these three little prongs, and they click in to these little slots cut in on the side. So opening up the stove, go ahead and click two of them in there. And then we'll do the remaining one. Get this all lined up. Very, very simple construction. Like I said, it's easiest on a flat surface. But if you don't have a flat surface, a couple times setting it up and you'll have it down pat. Uh, so there's the center section. This is where things get really interesting. This is the reason why I bought this. You can put an alcohol stove in here on top of that center piece. And I'll show you right now. Inside of my pot, I have my DIY penny stove can, which is just made from two bottom sections of a beer can or pop can, whatever you got. This is a standard can of uh, like a 355 milliliter regular can of Coke. Uh, it's not an extra fat can or anything, just regular pop can size. Took two bottoms. The sidewall is about one centimeter high. And put the two together, drill your holes. You got, a, you got an alcohol stove. So this fits directly in there. It fits in there really nicely. And it also fits about one centimeter. Yeah, I'd say about one centimeter from the top. So what that means is when I put my kettle on top, I've got a nice one centimeter gap for that flame to come up and plume and go out over the pot and get a really, really hot burn. And it boils water within about eight minutes, I wanna say. This kettle, this is a 0.6 kettle it might be a 0.8 kettle 0.6 or 0.8 it'll boil this in, in under 10 minutes with an alcohol stove out in the open now this works great as a wind block which is why i really wanted this so put that on there i've had this out in fairly strong winds and it'll keep burning and it'll keep cooking so works really really great for that and like I said, this is just a standard pop can. You can buy an alcohol stove. I'm not sure how it would fit. You'd have to take some measurements and go from there, but regular penny can stove, one centimeter high wall, fits in there, great. Third fuel source. The little pan has a rectangle. 
that holds solid fuel tablets. So you can use little Esbit tablets, you can use the round ones, whatever you want to use, pop them in there, and you've got a stove. So I think this is a really awesome stove where you can actually use three different fuel types in it, uh, as you can with most stoves, but this one's just really, really compact, really small, lightweight, and it works for me, and it, it fits my can perfectly. So pretty awesome piece of kit. Now, one extra thing with this, I'll go ahead and disassemble it. On each of the legs, you'll notice the little cutouts. Those are cut out for hex key wrenches as well as the circular part. I've actually used these to tighten up the legs on my tripod. So they are actually quite handy and useful. And they, they reduce weight by drilling in there. So instead of drilling a round hole, which is kind of useless, you might as well put some kind of tool multi-use item, right? So it actually works really well. And like I said, I tighten up my tripod when I'm out filming all the time and I left my wrenches home and it just turns out that this large one fits my tripod paired with the small one for the other side. So with the two, I actually tightened my tripod and it worked really well. So I was pretty happy with that. So I hope that kind of give you guys uh, a good idea of what the stove is, what it consists of, its shape, its design, its uses. Uh, I, I think it's great you can use all three fuel sources in here so if you are packing in alcohol or if you are bringing solid fuel tabs and you happen to run out you can use twigs uh, really great idea and I should mention too that when I have my alcohol stove in here I can actually pick it up by the leg while it's burning and it's not hot okay I don't recommend doing that but I'm just saying it is titanium it does cool very quickly so I've actually picked it up like I have it in my hand right now and moved it and set it aside and then gone ahead and put my pot back on top and continued cooking that way. Or when I'm done cooking, I could pick it up, move it out of the way, put my pot down and continue doing what I'm doing. So that's the added benefit of having titanium. It, it has so many good properties. It's not gonna, it, it inhibits the growth of bacteria. It doesn't corrode. It's just, it, it's a really, really good product to have and uh, or material to have. And the product's great as well. I, I really do enjoy it. It's kind of a, a funky little design to it and it works really well. So I hope that kind of answers your questions on what stove this is, what am I using? It's a great product, I enjoy it. And I wanna say it's like right around the $21 mark on Amazon, I believe, I, I'm not 100% on that. But very cool piece of kit and I hope that helps you guys out. So thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video.